A Ukrainian college student is one of just a few who made it out of the country and to the U.S., and now he's living here in the mid-state. But his future here is still uncertain. Sonica Bargo joins us now with more on this story. Sonica. Valerie, Kendra, it's been nearly two months since Max Lishuk arrived in the States from Ukraine. His next goal, start college here, or he might have to go back. When the war in Ukraine started, my grandfather, uh, he woke me up at 6 a.m. 17-year-old Maxim Lishuk was still asleep. He told me that war started. I did not believe his words. He just had time to pack and left with his grandfather. We are going to his uh, house at the edge of the city. His parents were in Kyiv. They saw that Kyiv is bombed and uh, I started to worry about them. But they made it out and joined the rest of the family. The first two weeks we were living mostly in a basement. Months went by. Then Max saw an announcement from Hampton University in Virginia. They can uh, accept from 50 to 100 uh, Ukrainian students. His family wanted him to go. Max turns 18 soon and he could be conscripted to the war effort. We had some missiles to our city, so it was a little scary. His mother took him to Poland first. June 14, I got my passport with a visa. But then Max was on his own, heading to Iceland, then Baltimore, and finally to Virginia. It was hard to say the goodbye to family, but I had to do that. Max spent a month at Hampton, where he met Kathy Taylor. I wanted to help in some hands-on way. Taylor lives in Hershey. When Max finished summer school, she signed up to host him. They're so charming. But Max is on a student visa, so he has to be in school. I actually lost, uh, the, I lost a night's sleep. Taylor decided on Lebanon Valley College and started raising money. In just a few days, $5,000. I was totally excited of people's kindness. Max's family is safe in Ukraine right now. He worries, but he's trying to make the most of his time here. He wants to learn guitar. I tried to play and I loved it. And maybe get a motorcycle. I miss motorcycles. But still, he thinks about going back home. I want to do something good for Ukraine told me there are a few ways to help. She is still collecting donations. People can also give directly to Lebanon Valley College's Refugee Scholarship Program. In the studio, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News. Thank you, Sonica.